Hi, today we are comparing Thunar and Dolphin, and before we get into that you might ask why are like Gnome the enemies that we have to defeat, and the answer is no, I don't think that we should consider any open source project as enemies, however I do think that a bit of healthy competition is healthy, and the point is not to like shame Thunar or Dolphin for being bad, but to understand a bit how other file uh, managers do think. And also in my GNOME video, I say that in my opinion, some default apps from GNOME are less uh, valuable compared to the KD ones. And I wanted to actually quantify why and how to actually improve that in my personal opinion, of course people can disagree. And uh, of course, I've always used Dolphin, so that was going to be super biased. So I tried to do something that is, do not base myself on the criteria that I think are important, but actually ask my tw Twitter followers that are just as biased as me, I guess, but probably less biased because maybe there's somebody not using Dolphin. So what I did is asked on my Twitter, what makes a file manager a good file manager? I got a lot of interesting answers. I copy pasted what I thought were the most actually, the one that I could use to compare Thunar and Dolphin. So for each one, I'm going to give one point to the file manager that actually fits the criteria in the tweet best. So they both start with zero points in the home directory. Sorry, I forgot that if I do a file here, it also appears on the other way. Thunar, zero points, and here, new folder, uh, Dolphin, zero points. And let's see who gets many. I have no clue whatsoever. So first one, <coughs> dual view, tabs, keyboard navigation, good search, Interface customization, easy access to network resources. So let's see which one fits most of the criteria best. As far as dual view goes, we've got split view here. And on Thunar, as far as I know, by default out of the box, there is no uh, dual view. I'm checking all of the options just for sure, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing like that. Tabs, both of these uh, file managers have tabs. Keyboard navigation, uh, let's try to navigate a bit. Can I go to the sidebar on Thunar? Let's see, okay, here I have the options, here I have the sidebar, I have like this. Then calls and I open subfolders. What about Dolphin? I can go between folders. Let's try to go to the sidebar. Uh, okay, so I'm selecting options at the top. Now I should be where am I? Okay, I'm in the sidebar and I can like go back to folders and I can like auto to very F, F, come on, F. So they both have pretty good keyboard navigation as far as I'm concerned. Let's close these tabs. Good search. Mm, let's try to search something. Let's try a hard file to find. Let's go, uh, if you go into KD, uh, where we go, user, uh, sure. Okay, let's try to find this file, which is pretty hidden as far as files go. Sorry, I lost it. This file. It's in KD build queen doc queen decoration CMake files doc queen decoration index cake and uh, progress.cmake. Let's uh, search for, I don't know, progress.make and see what we get in both. There's multiple of that, but let's see. So let's start from home and search here for progress.cmake. And that's nothing. Let's try here, progress.cmake. Sorry, typo, cmake. Let's see what happens. Loading, file name, progress.cname. Right now there's nothing from both of them. Let's try an easier one. Like, I don't know, this is all KD build stuff. So in my projects folder, I have this Ultima TTT, and inside of it, there is like, I don't know, notation.rs. This file should be easier. So let's try notation.rs, notation.rs, near notation.rs, okay. Thunar found it. Let's see if Dolphin finds it as well. Okay, so found on both. As far as I'm concerned, search is drone. What else? Interface customization, 
dolphin. Like, if I have to explain this one, you can actually customize all of the panels and also add new ones. You can have the terminal and also folders. There should be a preview somewhere. I don't see it right now, but in here you can like hit hide the sidebar and that's about it. So interface customization, customization goes to Dolph. So as a whole, this point, uh, easy access to network resources. Okay, fair enough. Let's see if we can set up some add network. Okay, I don't actually have a network folder to set up right now for testing. So for now, this point with dual views and more interface customization goes to Dolphin. So one point to Dolphin. Next one, being a file manager and not a Swiss army knife. This one goes to Thunar, no question asked, obviously. <laughs> I mean, the dolphin is totally a Swiss army knife. Like it has so much stuff inside of it. It opens in a blink of a eye, loads big directories quickly, copying, moving is easy. Okay, so opening, as far as opening goes, let's compare the two. Let's open a new instance of files and AT is very fast and dolphin, this is not how you open a new dolphin instance. To close this one and do this. I don't know, uh, I don't know how much of a comparison this is. I should properly, but I didn't see much to be honest. I think that both open like seriously low times. Loads big directory quickly. I tried to like find a very big directory, but couldn't quite find a one that's big enough to actually test stuff. Coping moving is easy and I mean, to be honest, it's really easy on both. And in here it even asks you what you want to do. In here, I guess it tries to earnings and move it only document. And that's it. Like, to be honest, this is completely wrong. Okay, this one, the name Dolphin. So for this one, Twitter point goes to Dolphin just because of the name. I guess the name is an important aspect of, uh, don't worry, there's another person that says the opposite later on. That's why I just kept the two tweets. I thought that was funny. One with Miller column view, and I think I can simply say that neither of these in here you've got in here you've got just these two views. In here you've got three, but not the Miller. So neither in here nobody gets the point. The option to open as root without needing to add an extension service menu. Okay, so let's try this in Dolphin. In theory, this should be. Uh, implemented in Dolphin. You should be able to edit um, files in owned by root. And uh, the issue is that I actually never managed to make this work on my Dolphin and we are trying out my Dolphin. So I know Dell should still be in root. Let's try to create a file. And that worked way too easily for this to be, let's just open and create a new, I cannot create a new thing, okay and could not enter folder root. I think that, yeah, I just cannot do anything with root and root related stuff. So in theory, it should be possible. You should be, but I haven't found. See, it's just like access denied. I try in something that made actually sense. So nope, here, and what about here? Well, the issue is uh, uh, how do I even get to like here? So. Let's try to go into user share plasma desktop theme and try to create, a, I don't know, a new folder as an example. Nope. Maybe, I don't know, move a file. Nope. Okay, so I cannot edit either. Maybe you can launch Thorner as a sudo. It is 21 minutes in the recording that I realized that of course Gnome's file manager isn't called Thunar, it's called Nautilus. Like, please uh, forgive me for this mistake. <laughs> and now I'll just go on and uh, I leave this part where I screwed up to be like honest and because also 20 minutes of recording and uh, please forgive me. And every time I said Thunar, I meant Nautilus. Let's get back to the terminal. So. Nautilus is called Nautilus. Let's try pseudo Nautilus. This seemed to work with some warnings, nothing weird. So let's go into the file system. Let's go into share and uh, plasma and then create a new folder. 
look. Oh well, it, had, it did that without even thinking. Okay. So you can launch Tunar opening it as do, Nautilus. Nautilus. You can launch Nautilus opening it as Ruth without any extension. In theory, also Dolphin, but actually no on my computer. So for now, for now, and let's lose. This points goes full to Nautilus. So two and two, it's a tie. Next one, have a page up button. Simple one. So we are inside of cake as an example, and we want to go a page up. And as far as I see, neither as a page up button. This one is go back, and this one is also go back. And go back is not actually page up, and uh, we can actually test that. So we switch to downloads in both of them. And if we go back, cake and cake, which is not page up. However, in uh, Dolphin, you can actually add a up button. There is an up button, but it's like not shown uh, by default. Maybe here, nope. So it's not shown by default, so it doesn't count. Neither gets the point. Here we get tags. Searchability, we try this. Stable copy, paste. Stable response, even under heavy workload. This one, I'm not going to be able to test this, but tags, I am. So let's try out tags. Let's try to add a tag to a file, first of all. Documents, uh, no, let's test.pdf, let's add a tag. And uh, it's probably inside of, I oh, know, here on the right bar, uh, sidebar. Tags, add, hello. Okay, so now there is the hello tag. And if I click on it, there is an error. Amazing. Let's try this one. So we've got test.pdf, blah, 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 blah. There is a star option, but we want tags. And uh, as far as I see it, there's no such thing. Yep, no such thing. So Dolphin kind of has tags, I guess. They just don't <laughs> work very well, I guess. <coughs> as far as stable copy goes, stable copy and paste. I think the, the point here goes to neither of the two. Sorry, but the tag system just doesn't work here and I don't know why. In theory, tags should appear on the left sidebar. Being able to recall a location of a file that your brain cannot based on some detail like metadata. So let's open some... Okay, so I have created this test.mp3 and if we go here uh, audio artist oh come on no it actually worked as you can see here we've got in the metadata met metadata that the artist and album is nikolov as well as well as the title and the year is 2050 so let's try to see if we can actually search for Nikolov A and or 2050 and find this file somehow I don't know how metadata search is implemented so if you go into search we've got just this when uh, oh, we can actually select based on some metadata that is like when it was edited or created last modified and last used nice we can also select select by type so we actually want let's use this one we want an audio, where is audio? Music, speaking. Okay, and Nicolove is the author. Let's see if the ma ma magic search does something. Meanwhile, here in Dolphin's world, let's go to, I mean, Dolphin cannot even, for some reason, actually display the fact that the author is Nicolove. How about that? Let's search. There's more search tool, which is kfind, which is cheating, but there should, what? search for in Nicola. Okay, that was weird. In theory, find name, your files. Th there was a button to search like more stuff, but I don't find it. So let's search for Nikolov. And nope, this uh, stuff is completely... Interestingly enough though, we do actually get a Casa Borghese if we search for Nikolov. Casa Borghese is the audio file that generated the test one. So probably inside of here we have Nikolov, which is the author, saved. Interesting, but uh, it's not the... F so doesn't count. Okay, find. Can you help us, I wonder? Properties? Nah, nothing. 
Okay, so that's it. I'm not able to easily find based on author, and I think author like is the most significant exa of example of uh, metadata. Tabs, and again, tabs, and both of them have tabs, so no, no one wins here. I love, love how Macintosh has the tag feature, and we can see that we saw that tags didn't quite work. <clears throat> now we have a big, uh, Folder tree. KDE does have folder tree. You can see it here. So this one goes to Dolphin. Various sorting methods. Let's just make see how many sorting methods we have on both systems and count them. So here, sort by. So in uh, Nautilus, we have alphabetical, modified, size, and type. Four. Here we have name, size, modified, created, access, type, rating, tags, comment, title, word count, line count, date, photographed, artist, genre, album, aspect ratio, path, deletion time, link destination, uh, owner. I mean, Dolphin wins this one like hands. I, I didn't even know that we had that many. Thumbnail view, so let's go into side of pictures and I do see thumbnails here and I do see thumbnails here, let's do this view. So it's a win for both. Quick and reliable search function, we already covered that. Collapsible file grouping, I don't know what that means. Maybe in the folder tree, you do have collapsible file grouping. Otherwise, nope. So since we already did folder three here, let's just count this thing as a whole to Dolphin. Whoops. So this one is one point to Dolphin. Let's go give it to, where is it Dolphin? Three points. So go, Dolphin gets a hat. It has to be called Thunar. Okay, so now we again get three points to Dolphin and three points to Nautilus. It has to be called Thunar. This is what confused me, Nautilus. This is what confused me. Okay, this is, I can actually blame this person because it said Thunar and I thought, yes, the GNOME file manager, but no, it's called Nautilus, but he said Thunar, so I got confused. So I can blame him. I, I'm gonna go tweet the guy now. Being able to color folders and put emblems on file icons. Let's try this out. Dolphin, you can follow colors, properties, you click on the folder, you select your favorite color. There is some with icons. There should I here, folder blue as an example. So you can color folders, but also emblems on files. Let's try this out. Editor, um, properties. No, I don't see any way to actually add anything. So no emblems in here. Let's try folder. So we've got open, cut, move, move the trash, compress, open terminal properties. So we can click on the icon and we have to select a custom icon from the file system. No. And I see no option to change the color in other ways. So this point I'd say is to Dolphin because you can actually change colors of the folders. So Dolphin, four points. Lastly, slash foo bringing me to the exact file I need which names contains foo. So let's try this. It's slash and the name. So let's try it with, uh, I don't know, pxl, this one, slash, and filter appears on the bottom, picks pxl, and here's the file. In here, slash pxl, and that doesn't bring up anything because it actually searches for the slash as well. I mean, I guess using the slash to pop up the filter is something that Dolphin does, but I don't think that in here you can just type like PXL and that's it. I do think, however, that it's slightly confusing to see all of the PXLs and in order to know if it's from your current folder, you have to look at it. But I'm not going to consider this as an entire point for Dolphin. That would be unfair. So that's it. So at the end, we have three points for Nautilus and four points for Dolphin. And we also have an entire video where I accidentally call Nautilus Thunar. And this is going to haunt me for, I don't know, years. 
Please don't make too much fun of me in the comments. If you see somebody in the comments pointing this out, I don't know, act if I actually never did the mistake in the first place. Just say like, I don't know. No, what do you mean? You got the name right. Just, just type it in the comments. Thanks for following along and see you tomorrow with another video.